This is example 1a. We are going to solve a second order homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficient. The equation is d2y dx squared plus 5 dy dx plus 6y equal to 0. In this case, y is a solution and y is a function of x. We are going to solve this differential equation by guessing. We first guess that y is equal to e power lambda x. We are going to figure out a suitable value of lambda so that y is a solution for the above differential equation. First, as we guess that y equal to e power lambda x, so we find out y is dy dx, which is differentiation of e power lambda x. By using the chain rule, this e power lambda x differentiate lambda x again and multiply. Since lambda is a constant, this is lambda times e power lambda x. And then you find out d2y dx squared, which is differentiation of dy dx again one more time, which is differentiation of lambda e power lambda x. Lambda is a constant, so you pull out and you differentiate e power lambda x which is equal to lambda times e power lambda x and we get lambda square e power lambda x. Substituting d2y dx square equal to lambda square e power lambda x and dy dx equal to lambda e power lambda x and y equal to e power lambda x into the differential equation you'll get lambda square e power lambda x plus 5 lambda e power lambda x plus 6 e power lambda x equal to 0 We find that e power lambda x is a common factor and multiply by lambda square plus 5 lambda plus 6 is equal to 0. Since we know that e power lambda x will never equal to 0, therefore we are going to find out whether lambda square plus 5 lambda plus 6 can be equal to 0. In fact, lambda square plus 5 lambda plus 6 can be factorized as lambda plus 3 times lambda plus 2. So, lambda can be negative 3 or lambda can be negative 2. Let's call them lambda 1 and lambda 2 respectively. In our guess solution, our y is e power lambda x. So, let's call y1 equal to e power minus 3x for lambda 1 equal to minus 3 and y2 equal to e power minus 2x for lambda 2 equal to negative 2 are solution of differential equation. As we know that if y1 and y2 are solutions, then any linear combination of y1 and y2, so y equal to c1, y1, plus c2y2, which is equal to c1 
e power minus 3x plus c2 e power minus 2x is the general solution of the given differential equation. where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constant. The solution I just presented seems very long. However, there are standard steps to solve this type of equation. You are given a differential equation a d2y dx squared plus b dy dx plus cy equals 0. And you guess the solution y equal e power lambda x. And then you end up solving a lambda square plus b lambda plus c equal to 0. This equation, we have a name, we call it characteristic equation. Or auxiliary equation. In this case, we find that the equation has two distinct roots, lambda 1 and lambda 2 not equal and real. For example, in example 1a, we have lambda 1 equal to minus 3, lambda 2 equal to minus 2, the real number. Then, general solution for this differential equation is y equal to linear combination of e power lambda 1x and e power lambda 2x. You can find the summary on how to solve a second order homogeneous ODE with constant coefficients on page 3 of the formula card. Example 1a belong to the case where we have two real roots, lambda 1 and lambda 2. And then the general solution is y equal to linear combination of e power lambda 1x and e power lambda 2x.